Welcome traveler, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my home brewery. If you haven't been here before, welcome traveler. This is Hulderbotten, my home brewery, and welcome to a beer channel here on YouTube. And that's called the Northern Route, Northern Route if you want. It's about traditional brewing and brewing techniques, uh, about traditional farmhouse brewing, and especially how to implement it in your home brewery. If you're uh, an old friend of mine coming back to the channel, welcome again, friend. So, even if you're new or you're an older friend of mine, we are gonna have some travels together. And we will see some of the same things. A lot of the same things, I guess, but to different eyes, different point of view, if you like. Already, you should reflect on what you already have with you in your backpack on this travel. When it comes to inspiration, when it comes to motivation, and when it comes to experience. Because you really, really don't want to uh, underestimate experience in this, uh, in this topic or in traditional farmhouse brewing at all. So just to set it off, these are some of the things that motivates me. I'm really into community, the beer related community, the traditional brewery community and new travelers seeking new goals and destinations. But also experienced pilgrims that has been living on the road for a while. And the feeling of just sharing a bowl of beer over a fire and uh, telling tales, talking about what we all have experienced and seen that day and wondering what the road will give us next. But I'm also into the smaller things. Mika's Viking Edge Brew. This is really inspiration and it's blog. You gotta check it out. Tons Myers, American Sour Beer. And this guy for sure, Lars Marius is a great inspiration for not just me but many of us. That's a Bible for some of us. We have some Hova more. Kongesagan, Snorre. Norwegian beer history. Rikstugu i Voss. We have some classic inspiration. We have some Norwegian inspiration. Something that motivates me is the feeling of grain. The smell of grain, steeping hops, the smell of juniper infusion before it's used, the sound of fermentation of course, and the mouthfeel of raw ale, just to mention some. And all this I have with me in my backpack when I'm going on a trip northwards. So on this travel, it's not just important what you see, but what you experience and feel. It's your job to reflect on what you can what you can use, how you can use it, how you can implement it in your brewery. I really mean it guys. Comment below, tell me what you have with you in your backpack, what's your inspiration, what's your motivation going forwards on a northern route. Sturzel, always inspiring. As I said, this is a bit over carbonated. A little more modern, I guess. Ooh, that stinks. So, I'm eager to see what you are all about. But, until next time, if you haven't watched it there already, I recommend you see this video next. Till next time, traveler. Skål!